How's it going folks? Time for a bit of a midweek update on the new aquaponics system. Just to bring you up to speed, the moving bed bioreactor has been cut up and holes drilled and we're going to be looking at the drains in this weekend's video. Uh, so yeah, no, no um, spoilers as of yet. What I'm focusing on in this video is a bit of a change of heart with the way the system's going to be laid out. This little trough down here is basically where the veggie pod's going to go. I'm just using it to catch bits of swarf at the moment. We are still going to have the floating raft bed, as far as I know, on top of the sump tank. That sump tank will change though. I'm looking at swapping out the existing sump tank in the system up there for this one here. Um, this one will go up there and run it just while I'm doing the swap around. So yeah, there'll be a video or you'll see that in the video. I did give it a nice clean out though. Uh, the main reason is the little fines filter I like to use won't fit in this one here. I could chop it down, but I don't want to wreck it when I've got a perfectly good sump up there that will take it. So that's why I'm doing that there. Uh, floating raft, and yes, Rob, I'm using your infusionators. The major change will be over the back here. Oh, those rails will still be going along here. And I'm not putting them on the back of the hoop house or the fence. That fence is falling over towards us. I've got it propped up. And the rail uh, along the back here, that distance there is too great. And it's not going to get a lot of sun. I'd have to have it up high. And I've got shade cloth going there. And it's just yeah, going to be a bit of a palaver if I do that. So the rail will stay along the front here. Now, this bed here isn't going to stay there. The large black bed in the aquaponic system at the moment will be coming down here and taking its place. That's just sort of a marker. The big change will be the dual root zone bathtub over the back there. It will no longer be the dual root zone bathtub. It will be this green dual root zone trough. I found another stand uh, that Dad gave us ages ago that I can just sit this on top of. And because it's only going to have a little bit of uh, water and clay down the bottom there, that's Jack hunting for lizards down there. Leave the lizards alone. Jack, 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 leave them alone, you bully. Um, because this is only going to have a little bit of media around the bottom, around the base of the pouches and water, I'm not worried about the sides um, bending out. So, yeah, that will make a move over there. And just quickly, for you supporters out there, I will be doing a video just looking at alternate ways drain setups that I've been mucking around with um, just while I've been playing around with this. So that'll be over on the supporters' um, websites, YouTube members and the Farm Your Own Yard. A few folks to check out later on in the week. There's just so many options and different ways you can plumb these things up. I just thought, you know, um, something special for those guys over there is a bit of a thank you. But yeah, um, these are the cuffs. I've changed what I'm thinking about with the outlet from the ray, uh, for the fish tank as well. And the other cuff will be joining the moving bed bio and radial flow settler. But more on that in this weekend's video. Just up here with the fish now. Uh, they're not really um, actively searching for feed at the moment. They're normally a lot more active than that. It's just because it's so cold. Then again, I did toss in a couple of um, cabbage butterfly caterpillars a little while ago. At the moment, the water temperature is sitting at 20, 21 degrees Celsius. So that many Fahrenheit. Um, not really warm enough for those guys to want to fill their bellies. So I'm just going to leave them for the time being. Oh, I do have a couple of heaters in there uh, during the night as well, helping to keep that stuff warm. Uh, that's the bed that will be going down the back. Bits and pieces will be coming out of it though. We're going to gift that to someone local. Uh, if anyone local wants some red vein sorrel for their aquaponics system, um, yeah, I will be getting rid of that. The oregano, a lot of the green onions, and possibly the parsley and the basil if it survives. They'll be going upstairs in the new aquaponic system, the little small balcony one. And I'm also thinking about um, putting up the sage. There's a little sage plant just behind the back there. So basically uh, some herbs up there and the rest of these plants will be trying to um, either pot into um, soil based pouches now these broccoli and a couple of those cabbages over there and also some of the other cabbages in the other satellite bed, they will be going into this bed down here once it's moved. So we're just going to try and transplant them. And the idea is to move that one down there first, get rid of the plants, pop those brassicas in, pop these brassicas in, move the parsley up into the deck system, and then I can grab the sump out of here, swap it over with that smaller sump, and just keep this system running with the biofilter and also that satellite bed over there providing the biofiltration for these fellows here and also too as it is winter these guys yeah they're really not on the feed so we don't have a lot of our nitrogen or ammonia coming through 
let the ambulance pass, eh? So any ammonia processed by those fellas there will be looked after primarily by their moving bed bioreactor we have on the go here. So I'm not, you know, overly concerned about not having a lot of uh, biofiltration in the system. So even though the fish aren't on the feed at the moment, the plants are looking pretty green as you can see. Uh, the only pest issue we're really having at the moment is their cabbage butterflies, or their caterpillars I should say, on the cabbage and broccoli, but other than that, you can't see any aphids, knock on wood. I don't think there's any in there at the moment. They're the only other major pest we really have. Uh, as I said, this weekend's video will be um, the cutting up and plumbing the moving bed bioreactor and the radial flow settler into the system and also the drain work from the fish tank. The fish tank should be um, leveled out and set up this weekend or by this weekend as well for the video. And yeah, that supporter video should be up in the next day or so. So there you go. I do hope you enjoy these little updates, folks. And if you haven't already, you can hit that little subscribe button down there and YouTube, hopefully, will send you notifications. Uh, huge thanks to those folks who have purchased our online beginner's guide and also those folks who are supporting the channel through YouTube members and also our Farm Your Own Yard patron page. Really do appreciate the support, folks. But I will leave it there. I do hope you're well and happy and I'll catch you next vid. Cheers, folks, and happy growing.